Yo, what's going on guys? Frisk here. Welcome back to some more Power Pros World Koshian. We got a great game coming up here with Edgecution and Kang Gang here in pool number B. We're going to be seeing things from Edgecution's perspective here against Tenmei. So we're going to get to see how nasty Takahara looks uh, on the old mount. So this is going to be Edge's second game. I think third game. Yeah, second game. Uh, he is 1-0 so far against Kappa Academy, and this is going to be Tenmei's second game as well, where they're also 1-0. So these are the two front runners here right now in Pool A, the Pool of Death. Takahara taking the mound with that fresh face. Watanabe going to lead things off. Let's going to see what's going to happen here. Wow, right out of the gate, the fork ball. Wow, Edge is all over the fork ball. Gets a hit to lead things off. Not the start that Tenmei expected. Sugisaka now up to the plate. Wow, that curveball looks nasty. Oh, man. Oh, no. And he gets picked off. Dives and gets him. Tomazawa, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's safe? Oh, my gosh. And they... Wow, they, they are playing for the one-run game here. Edge knows... He knows how good Kang Gang is. Oh, he goes for the squeeze. Oh my god. What a start to this game. This is insane. Oh my god. So he gets hit on the first one first first pitch. Oh wow. Gets a hit on the first pitch. It doesn't get tagged at second somehow. They bunt him over and then he misses the squeeze. Wow, we got Nishiguchi on the mound. So it's not going to be Nishihara. Le wow, okay. So, man, Edge is keeping us off balance here. Rip, though. First pitch. Tamazawa, too, with a line out to short. Guys, I have a feeling this is going to be a very interesting, crazy game. A very 124-kilometer uh, uh, changeup here. And now a fork ball that's also sort of slow. All these pitches are quite slow, so it might just keep... Kang Gang off balance, you, yeah, you know, not too sure, but he's going to get a lot of time to try and line up the PCI to where the ball is. And wow, missed pitch there. Uh, Kayano now up to the plate. Fastball swings through at 149 kilometer per hour. Nishiguchi might get out of here. And there we have it, Watanabe. So I think this is the strategy I think Edge, Edge is doing. I think he's starting Nishiguchi so that he can have... Uh, Nishihara go into extra innings and with Takahara starting Takahara will he'll have to wait for game two rest basically oh oh two dives in a row edge might actually get to second here wow what a this is this is a, a series of a, of crazy events here Takahara Wow, getting another runner to second here. Try, maybe thinks about the bunt. Yamashika thinks about the bunt. A fork ball here. Watches it. 2-1. Trying to get into the head. Willing to do whatever it takes to get these runners into scoring position. That curveball is disgusting. That, that is one of the nastiest curveballs I've seen. That is going to be very hard to, to hit. Especially if that is just underneath the zone. All right, he's going to tap it. So at least... Yes, that runner to the third with two outs, but here here comes the challenge. Can Takahashi can he hit him in? It looks like Kangang has identified the weakness, which is being able to track and hit that curveball. We might see a lot of that. Yep. And that is going to end the inning. Shikigami pulls it in. Wow. Alright, so Togusa up to the plate. But like we were saying earlier, what what we think is happening here, we think Edge. Is trying to get is what he, get mileage out of Nishiguchi so that Nishihara can come in and pitch the bulk of it as soon as he starts to get into trouble, and then he can go in extras. Because remember, nine innings. If they go more than nine innings, then they have to rest twice. And so, uh, very interesting here. Here comes Takahashi with the throw over. And now we've got Goto coming up to the plate. Goto's going to watch that 122 kilometer. That thing just kind of floats in. Maybe difficult to see in combination with the fastball. It might be a little bit hard for us to see from our perspective. We're watching Edge's perspective because they slow down the pitch because of netcode stuff. So Kobayashi up to the plate. 
here swings at a curveball here. So it looks like I, I think uh, I mean you know obviously Takahara has a ton of different abilities, but I does he have the yeah he has the two the strikeout ability. So on two strike, basically that power curveball becomes a level seven. And so uh, that's why sometimes it looks way nastier than the way it really is. So we got one strike here. Pop up. It looks like Tagusa is going to get there. And that is going to be out number two to the top of the order. Watanabe watches that fastball thrown by him at, with, with some speed. Able to connect with the fork ball, but that will be three out. So, man, not much doing here for Tenmei, but Education has been able uh, basically to get runners on and that's a big hit by Shikigami Watanabe gonna get there so uh, some pretty pretty good contact here a couple times here uh, by Tenmei but let's see if they can do something here with the 891 Shikigami I don't know if he's gonna get moving here swings over the top of a fork ball let's see what Nishiguchi does here another fork ball just out of the zone and now comes that change up Ooh. Able to get him with that, that change up as an out pitch. Not too much something you see that much here in PvP, but Edge is he's really doing a superb job. Now we've got a 1-1 one, one count. Here it comes. Just ahead of that. And Yuichi now going to try and move the runner. Oh, goes for a jump. I don't know if he needed to jump there, but... That will count as a hit. Runners first and second for Tamazawa 2. The shortstop leadoff. Way ahead of the changeup. In his in in his head a little bit. Swings ahead of the slider. Let's see what comes here. Buries the fork ball. Uh, Kang Gang's got great eyes, so he watches that. Oh, that's probably gonna fall. That will. Tamazawa 2. This is clutch. This is huge. Hits it to the wall. That's gonna score in two. And Tenmei goes up 2-0 off of a, a, a nice little poke into the gap by Tomazawa 2. So Kangang been able to get some good hits there in the right center gap. Taps a slider here over, but that will be two outs. we got a runner on third. Koyano now up. Going to try and extend the inning. The changeup, he cannot sit on it again. And now fastball right back at him as he swings through. 0-2. Trying not to not strand the runner. He is frozen with the changeup, and that will do it here in the third. So 2-0 so far, Tenmei uh, off their three hits. Education, though, going to try and take the Hashimoto Academy uh, back into position uh, here with those two hits. And here we go, Sugisaka. 2-3-4 coming. That will probably go foul. It will, so Kazuya lets it go foul. A 1-2 count behind the 172-kilometer fastball. That is tough. Not much time to react on the high-effort fastball there, so that's a 1. All right, so the power curveball, uh, when not a strike-through opportunity, it does look it does look hittable. The strikeout, uh, oh, the 1-2 account, 1-2 uh, count power curveball or curveball is uh, very difficult. So that's going to be a pop-out here. Just gets underneath that fork ball. Now we're moving on to bottom of the fourth. Tenmei going to try and increase the lead a little bit. Nishiguchi still in there. Here comes the pitch. All right, so fork ball high. Going to let that go outside. Tagusa uh, coming with a going to be a slider here. Hit up the middle. Nishiguchi throws it over. And that will be out number one. Here comes a fastball. Oh, one Takahara, who's been, uh, you know, really doing it all here so far. Um, able to squeeze out of or squeam out of a couple interesting situations. Ground ball up the middle. Let's we'll see if Komio can get there. Is and makes the throw over. And so Goto now up to the plate. Six hitter, second baseman. The changeup is is giving Kangang some some troubles here. Sitting back on it, being able to identify it at all. That is 0-2. What's it gonna be? He triples him up, and Kangang swings way ahead of that changeup. That will be an out. Moving on, top five. Hashimoto trying to see what they can do here. Yamashika up. Still gonna try and battle. They had the right idea earlier in the game when as soon as they got that base runner, they did everything they could to try and move them over. We're still not able to convert. 
you know, those risk situations into runs. Well, oh, soft uh, ground ball here. That'll be out number two. And now we got Takahashi up. He's really just going to, uh, you know, try and just get good peace on. Now he's sitting. Wow, the heaviness, the, the iron ball of that really knocked that ball down. That can't even get out of the infield at all. And that will be three. So moving on to bottom five. Shikigami. So uh, we got intimi the Intimidator active, Menace active. Shikigami. That first pitch was a changeup. And Edge is going to it again here. Sh the, uh, Kang Gang's able to sit and wait on it. But Shikigami doesn't have the speed to beat out that soft ground ball. So come a guy up to the plate here. 0 1. Over the top of that fork ball. Here comes the changeup. So Nishiguchi is just a different type of pitcher than you would see in a tournament like this. Just slow. All these pitches are pretty slow. And Kangang caught looking there. Now for Yuichi up to the plate. Takes an offer at the fastball, but that will be out number three. Hit softly to first base. So moving on, top six. Ashimoto running out of uh, opportunities. Uh, and it's only a matter of a time before strong finisher becomes active for Takahara in seventh. So this will be the inning where uh, they're going to want to try and get some more base runners, put something on the board at least, try and stay out of goose egg territory. Hard curveball, can't get a good piece of it. That will be an out for Kazuya. And now Nishiguchi, still going to stay in, going to hit. Probably going to take a few pitches here. Yep, to try and get Takahara, you know, that pitch count up just albeit slightly, but Kangang is not phased. He knows he just got to just pound the zone, throw strikes. Uh, and that will be two outs here. And now we get to the top with Watanabe. Very tough, not a lot of time to react to that high fastball. Takahara looks insanely difficult to hit, guys. Like, you have to be sitting the pitches to be able to get there if you want to get to that high effort fastball. But. Uh, even even the sinker there uh, is something that you get jammed on, and that will end the inning. So, or end of the half inning. Bottom six. Now we've got top of the order, Tamazawa two here. Let's see if Nishiguchi can keep the game at two. Swings over the top of it. What's it going to be? Change up or fastball? He's going to go low fastball. And that will get a ground ball from Kangang. Tamazawa two grounds out. One, one out to start here, the bottom of the six. Now, Kazuya... Sits on the changeup. Hits it very well. Will that, will that be the first home run? It will. Kazuya with the very first home run. And the Power Pros World Koshien pool play. Sits on a changeup. He finally sat and waited and blasted it. 3-0. Oh, oh, my God. Again. Two in a row. Koyano goes back to back. Wow. Kazuya, Koyano go back to back, and now Nishihara comes in. Oh, he had the purple mood. That's why we didn't see him. But, you know, it, the damage has been done. Two home runs in this game. Wow. We hadn't seen one yet. Uh, well, sorry. I, I got way too excited for nothing. We did see one. The first one was by Fund. By iPump. iPump is probably thinking to himself, what is this slander, Frisk? Do I, do I mean nothing to you? Did you not see my home run? I did. I just forgot about it for a second. Uh, but here we go. Oh, the squeeze bunt. The flip down to home. Can it be a double play? Oh, it is not. But these are. this is our first multi-home run game. Uh, so congratulations for that, Kang Gang. Uh, but definitely, yeah, not the first home run in the tournament. That will go to fund, I believe, for cash money. So, but Kazuya... Um, able to go uh, hit hit the knock. Oh no, it's thrown off here. Bases were loaded, or would be loaded, but the run comes in 5 0. <laughs> Nishihara struggling here to try and stop the bleeding with two outs here in the sixth. Hit well. Can he get to it? He does. Goto pulls it in. Oh wow, seven hits, five runs now total. Big three run inning here in the six. Now top seven. Takahara still able to deal. And I think Tagusa's gonna get there. Man, I can't believe the back-to-back -back home run. That was incredible to see. 
And now a soft tapper here. That will, Kazuo will pull that down. That is out number two. And now Hasegawa up to the plate. Here we have a low fork ball inside. 1-1 one, one with two outs. Here comes it. He's sitting on it. Oh, no. He pulls off a little bit. That was a ball. He's going to wait for that pitch, which is a tough thing to do. A two strikes on Takahara. Uh, but that will end it. So we've got three innings left here. And Nishihara and it's still trying to uh, uh, get Tenmei here to uh, you know, calm down a little bit and keep some runs off the board. That will be a soft ground ball for one out. And now to the top of the order. Thomas out two. And here comes the curveball, the power curve. I mean, complete bad luck that Nishihara would be purple mood against Tenmei. I mean, this this was the this was the battle of the individuals that were leading. And look at that, Tomozawa two with another double to the gap. He might push it for three. Uh no, he does not. Uh, another gapper to right center here, and now we got a nice defense point. To see if Nishihara can get a boost for his team going into the hitting section of the top of the eighth. All right, there's one of the outs. Just needs one more to get this nice little boost running into the next inning. And here comes Kayano, who hit that bomb alongside with Kazuya, the last two. And I think Takahashi can get there, make the play, and that will end this half of the inning. Nishihara gets out of it. The team gets a little fire boost there, as you can see. It's shown up by the indicator on the scoreboard. Then they need it. Six outs left, trying to do everything they can to muster some, some points here against Takahara. One, two. Here comes the strikeout pitch. Oh, misses outside here. 2-2, two, two, the count. Swings at a shoot all that he just cannot connect with. It is now one out. Cameo. Tries to flick the PCI, cannot get it there. That is 0-1. Shoot ball will not get through. Kazuya will pull that in for out two. And now Takahashi swings at the fork ball. The attack boost may go away if they're not able to capitalize here. 0-2 with two outs. The pitch, another very difficult power curve ball. And that will, that will bring Hashimoto down to their last three chances. Togusa now up to the plate. Ground ball to Cameo. Makes a quick play. That will be out number one. Takahara now up. Probably his last time. Their last time hitting before they have to close this game out. 5-0. Nishihara trying to... Yep, get him to soft ground ball. Cameo again. Gonna get him two outs here and now Goto. Nishihara uh, settled a little bit, but maybe it was too much too late uh, for the Tenmei uh, high school team here. Really battling, really hitting some really good shots here, those two home runs. Nishihara gets Goto to strike out, and this is it. Last three outs for, uh, for Hashimoto Academy. Takahara comes out blazing. Uh, the Kazuya will get there. He'll use his first baseman speed, and that is one out. Nishihara not going to take Nishihara out in case uh, he, he's able to get to that, those five. Does not. Now it's to the top. Watanabe, and this will likely be the end of the game. Jammed on a shooto. Tenmei able to defeat the Hashimoto Academy 5 0. Takahara just too powerful. Man. And then you've got Tamazawa, too. Had a couple of key doubles. Of course, those two home runs by Kazuya uh, uh, in the second one, I believe. I cannot remember who the second one uh, was. We'll, we'll look at the box score. So it'll be 5-0. to zero. Eight hits for Tenmei to uh, to the Hashimoto Academies, too. Oh, that's right. Kayano and Kazuya with the two back-to-back -back home runs. Nishiguchi gets the loss, and Takahara gets the W. Watanabe gets one of the hits. Hasegawa gets the hits with the double. Uh, the only extra base hit of the game. Just those two hits. Uh, we had six strikeouts by Takahara. Two, unfortunately, by Yamashika. Nishiguchi goes five and a third. 55 pitches, 21 batters face. Gave up those five hits, but did get five Ks. Uh, a lot of change-ups there. It's pr pretty good by him. Just unfortunately gave up those four runs. Nishihara comes in for two and two thirds. 1K gave up those three hits and just had that one run, but it was not earned. Looking on over at the 10 May side. So Tomazawa two. Yes, two for four with two doubles, two RBIs. 
Kazuya gets a hit, Koyana gets a hit. Both of those hit those solo back-to-back -back home runs. Tagusa, Takahara will get a hit. Shikigami gets a hit with the run. Yuichi gets a hit with the run. So pretty good bounce all across the board. Looks like uh, Kamagai and Goto, the only ones that really just you know d d didn't get on base, didn't get hits. Takahara steals the show yet again, as we suspect him to. Goes the distance, 75 pitches, 28 batters faced. Only just giving up those two hits with six Ks. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this game. This was a, a really fierce battle. I did not know how it was going to go early. But, man, Kang Gang showed why his team uh, is just really solid, right? Two big hits, those home runs. Tomazawa, too, did not disappoint. He was able to connect with some pitches when he really needed it. And it was just too much for Edge and the Hashimoto Academy. So, appreciate you guys watching this one. Until the next one, we'll see you. Peace.